Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to get your image cropped so you can use it for the YouTube thumbnail or you can use it to upload to any other website. This will be real helpful and also I'm going to show you a few other tricks and tips how to get your image cropped and how to optimize it. So yeah, stay tuned for the video and if you like the video don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. And I'm actually starting a new playlist with other helpful videos for Photoshop, photo editing. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other videos and let's get started. So let's open up our Photoshop. And as you can see, we got this beautiful lake on the picture. And to get into the crop mode, you just gotta press the icon on the side of the toolbar, or you can just press C on the keyboard and it's gonna activate that crop mode. So then from this mode, you can use these sliders to crop your picture and you can crop it to whatever size you like. To keep the aspect ratio, you have to press the shift and then it's gonna keep the same aspect ratio. So it's not gonna change. But if you wanna get it cropped to the certain size, like, you know, like I said, YouTube likes a thumbnail that's gonna be 1280 by 720. So right here where you have the your size, you just gotta put the 1280 by 720. To finish the crop, you just gotta press enter. There you go. So now it's all cropped to the perfect size. So you can just save it as it is and it's gonna be the right, correct size. And another thing I would like to share with you when you're doing the crop thing, you might find it real helpful if you do in the crop. So you can change the orientation of this uh, layout. So you gotta press the X button and it's gonna automatically switch to the vertical view. So it's gonna make it uh, easy if you wanna just kinda cut out the vertical part. Then you can press the X again and it's gonna go back to horizontal. Also, another cool feature in this crop tool is if you find this a little bit distracting and you have uh, you just want to see the picture then you're going to be cropped you can press h and it's going to hide the rest of the image and you're just going to see what what's going to be cropped after the fact after you press enter and you're going to press h again and it's going to appear back again some people find that's a little bit uh, awkward when you move the image in the back and the crop frame is st still the same you know, I find it's pretty cool, honestly, like I like it. I like the way it works. But if you like it differently, then you can just press P. And now this frame's gonna move and you just move the frame. You don't have to worry about the image in the back. The image in the back is gonna be still so that you just move the frame. You can just resize it to whatever size you need. One more interesting feature in this crop tool is if you need to level the horizon, for example, you took a picture and it's a little bit off, uh, it's a little bit crooked. So if you wanna get it straighter, you can just use control. You just press the control and you see this uh, little uh, icon appears and then you can just draw the line. You can just draw the line to however you want to uh, get it straight. For example, my line is pretty straight. So, if, but if I would wanna change it a little bit, I would just go like this. And then you just let it go and as you can see the image has rotated a little bit so now i actually made it worse but let's go back and do the same thing so now as you can see if i draw another line and let it go and now it's straight again okay and as you can see here there's these lines here it's called the overlay it helps you level like if you have some kind of uh, squares, you know, you can just level, make the picture level. But it also gives you different options. So you can either choose this icon here and it shows you different grid. You can go diagonal, you can go triangle, or you can also press O on the keyboard and it's gonna switch between different modes of overlay. So basically there is lots of things you can do with this crop tool, but I find the most helpful for creating thumbnails is using the numbers so you can just uh, create a certain size image so and once you finish cropping you can just save it just press enter and you're gonna crop the picture to whatever size you choose and just can save the picture as it is another trick i'm going to show you today is going to be quick creation of the frame on the picture so for that you can just go with layers then we're just going to create a new layer just press ctrl j and then on this new layer you just gotta choose the crop tool again and then if you press Alt Shift and pull that, it's gonna create a perfect frame. 
Like you can choose a big frame, little frame, and then just let it go. It's gonna create a frame that's with the color that's in your toolbar. So as you can see, we got the nice white frame. And basically this is the picture if you wanna just print it. I hope you guys like this little tips and tricks on the how to crop your image. If you do like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and let me know if I have missed any other tricks that you know. Let's help each other and learn and get better every day. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.